Zelensky delivered a deeply moving and impassioned address to Congress today and received a bipartisan show of support, including a standing ovation the moment he appeared on screen before he even said a word. I can say with absolute certainty, that's the warmest reception anyone has ever received on Zoom. A moment this week from Late Night with Seth Meyers and Seth's signature segment, A Closer Look. And if you can believe it, it's been eight years now since Meyers took the late night baton from his friend Jimmy Fallon, carrying on a legendary legacy started by David Letterman in 1982. Last month, Dave returned to 30 Rock as Seth's guest to mark 40 years of the show that changed late night TV. Before taking over at that desk, Meyers spent 13 seasons at Saturday Night Live, first as cast member, then as head writer and host of Weekend Update. The father of two young boys and a baby girl, Seth is applying those writing skills to a new book for kids. Willie and Seth got together in the children's section at the New York Public Library for a Sunday sit-down. Good evening, I'm Seth Meyer. This is Late Night. We hope you're doing well. As the host of NBC's Late Night, Seth Meyers does some of his best work after midnight. You don't kid a kidder. Hey, uh, turn the mic way up, because I'm going to do that spooky whisper thing. <laughs> Look at us at the New York Public Library. But outside of Studio 8G, the father of three caters to a like different audience. Yeah, I'm going to show you some of my favorites. This is what every children's book author should aspire to, circus ship. With a much know. earlier bedtime. This, uh, I hate this book. <laughs> I don't really. Uh, this book makes my kids laugh harder than anything I've ever done. I cannot tell you how hard they will laugh the first time you say blue hat, green hat, red hat, oops. Game over. Now, Myers has written his own children's book called I'm Not Scared, You're Scared, in an explicit attempt to impress his kids. You want to hear an embarrassing thing about my yeah. kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my three-year-old asked if the... Uh, the bear and the rabbit were there when I took the picture. Oh, Yeah. Well, three. That's okay. Yeah. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> Feels like something a two-year-old would say. <laughs> so let's talk about the story. I'm not scared. You're scared. Was yep. this born of an experience with your kids? It was mostly just you have kids, and as a parent, you start feeling fear in a way you did not think it was capable, and you're surrounded by these human beings that are slowly finding the things they're afraid of, and you're watching both how they process their fear and how you as a parent try to help them through those fears. So it was kind of a book where the two different characters had different ideas about whether or not they should be afraid of things and how sometimes one is right and sometimes the other is. I was on the phone with 911, and this was the extent of my conversation with 911. We're about to have a baby. We're having a baby. We had a baby. <laughs> If you've seen Seth's Netflix stand-up special, Lobby Baby, you know his second son, Axel, was born in the lobby of his New York City apartment building. And let me tell you, it is very strange to be on a 911 call that ends with the operator saying, congratulations! <laughs> a little sister arrived last September. Was she born, this is an important question for you, Yeah. in a medical setting? She, well... It's an interesting question. We had a home birth. She was born in a bathtub as planned. Right. I mean, as a comedian, it's a little disappointing that <laughs> more didn't go wrong. But it did. I mean, I'm happy for her. I'm happy for the mother. Guess there won't be a second Netflix special off this. Yeah, no, they don't. Nobody's going to watch a special <laughs> called Planned Home Birth. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> no, uh, but it's great. I think my son, my oldest son, is now jealous of lobby baby because sure. when we're in the park people will say so that's lobby baby and my oldest one says i'm a hospital baby and everybody's <laughs> like okay nobody cares <laughs> it's like the most common kind of baby one, two, three, four. meyer's other baby his iteration of late night which he inherited from jimmy fallon in 2014 just turned eight it's been nice to have the time have the patience to get to the place where we're doing the favorite, my favorite version of the show we've done. Do you look around at the other late night shows and they're playing games and they're doing wacky stuff? Was there some sense of like, oh, I'm like late night, I gotta be doing that kind of stuff? I knew that I'd be bad at it and it would look like somebody doing the thing that maybe they were 10th or 11th at. I should say, 
as when I'm a guest on those shows, they are joyous to do sure. as a guest. Yeah. It's so fun because you, I think, any nerves you have about being a guest on a talk show go away. And, and I think for us, we try to make those go away by letting people know, hey, it's just going to be a conversation. You have yeah. nothing to worry about. Because you're young now, and that was a long that time ago. So, thank you. You're very welcome. I can say it honestly because a, I've also aged. What a friend. No, yeah. you haven't. You found your own lane. Barely. I Hopefully people think we found our own lane. Yeah. As the, um, as the most flanneled, the currently most flanneled <laughs> man in my life. You know, we're all just trying to get through this quarantine period any way we can. The flannel is new. A wardrobe change born out of broadcasting the show from his home attic during the pandemic. This has been a clo- oh no. Oh, the wasps are out! Oh! I think you know what time it is. New too is Seth's Emmy-nominated web series, Corrections, in which he reads and responds to comments from viewers with strong opinions. I referred to my wife's niece, Becky. A lot of you said she would also be my niece. Nope. Not my blood, not my problem. <laughs> my friends have said it is so funny that you've had a show for eight years and now now I watch the thing <laughs> that is the purest version of you that's on, uh, on TV, even though it's only on YouTube. Cobras. We said they were poisonous. Cobras are venomous, not poisonous. Poison is ingested and venom is injected via reading YouTube comments. <laughs> and the best part is I just write, I spend the whole week like, you know, writing down things that people have told me I've gotten wrong and building what amounts to a 15 minute stand-up act about my week's show. <laughs> and, uh, and the only, we clear the audience out so it's just the crew and it is, I, I really look forward to it. Can we go check out your book? Yeah, let's something go check we out can my do? book. All right. This is um, the, the VIP checkout. Seth's here to check out his <laughs> own book. All right. I hear there's lots of holds on this. Very embarrassing. You feel like you shouldn't have to use a library card if your picture's on the back. But all right, you guys have your rules. <laughs> I respect that. Back at home, Myers faces nightly reviews from his little book critics. The other night in front of me, and this is just speaks to how they're bad liars, the three-year-old said to the five-year-old, should we read Daddy's book? And the five-year-old went, um... And I just said, don't be polite. <laughs> don't fake politeness with me. Like, um, should we read? I feel like... Let's take a, let's take a break. Um, don't patronize me. Yeah, I'll yeah. just... If you don't want to read it, that's fine. <laughs> Seth's new book, I'm Not Scared, You're Scared, is available now wherever you get your books. And Late Night with Seth Meyers airs every night at 12.35 a.m. right here on NBC. Our big thanks to the New York Public Library for hosting Willie and Seth. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full length interview with Seth Meyers. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.